gentlelady from New York is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, first I want to acknowledge all the communities facing the impacts of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. There are also two other hurricanes, Jose and Katya, gaining strength right now in the Atlantic. This is the first time since 2010 that there have been three active hurricanes at one time in the Atlantic Basin. Our rising waters and warming seas are contributing to the historic sea, uh, storms we're seeing now. We also can't forget the thawing permafrost in Alaska. It was called permafrost, obviously, because it was going to be permanent. Scientists estimate this could drive up the Earth's temperature by as much as 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit. If this isn't enough to make clear the perils of climate change, I don't know what it will take. Mr. Speaker, I am relieved that a bipartisan compromise has been reached on some of the most important and urgent matters that we face. The bill includes a short-term extension of the debt ceiling, a continuing resolution to fund the government, and provides the first installment of aid to those communities impacted by Hurricane Harvey. I was glad to see this deal pass the Senate overwhelmingly on Thursday by a vote of 80 to 17. It's a testament to what we can do when we work together, even during these especially partisan times. The agreement may have been a surprise, but it was a welcome one. We can now step back from the cliff and get to work on the many other priorities we face this month, including passing the DREAM Act, reauthorizing the FAA, which is critical, the Children's Health Insurance Program, also critical, the Perkins Loan Program. Many low-income students in college depend on Perkins to get a good education. So this compromise will get us through to December 8. And that means we will find ourselves back here in the same situation a few months from now. And I hope that once again, we can put the country before ideology and prevent the self-inflicted wound that would come from playing chicken with our economy. Today's bipartisan spirit is something our country can use a lot more of. 